good YouTube and everybody. Let's talk about Hawkman from McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Black Adam. What we're going to talk about is what we do like about him and what we don't like about the figure. Get into a little articulation, some pricing, where you can pick them up at, and at the end of the video, I have a few photos up to show you some poses, what it looks like when he's doing his thing. So, when I'm looking at him here, I see that he's looking great. He has his weapon, his wingspan's great, the coloring's great. He looks fantastic from the appearance wise, as you can see here. But we know when we get into closer detail, when we get the figure up close, it's gonna be something different. So let's go ahead and take him off the stand and let's go ahead and give him a measure. See where he sits. So we're gonna go ahead and break out that infamous stick that I have. And it looks like he's gonna be sitting roughly at seven inches. Mind you, my stick is a little bit taller at the bottom. And if he's sitting at seven, he'll be at 18 centimeters. So the wingspan, I'm going on the lower side here, it should be right at eight inches as it looks here. And if it's at eight inches, it should be right at under 21 centimeters. That's where he's at, that's where he stands, and that's what we're working with today. So looking at him here, we're gonna go ahead and let's grab him and let's see what we got. Going up close to him, like I said, the figure looks great appearance wise. So I'm going to fill on his helmet here. They did really good with the art artwork on here. I think it's pretty good on the plastics, kind of flimsy. It needs to be because there's a lot of stuff that's gonna get in the way when you do an articulation. But as for the helmet, it looks very good. Even though it's sculpted on, it still looks very good on the figure. It looks like the helmet is on him. When you look by on, on the flimsy part here where it's kind of feathered out and by his ears, it looks like the helmet is on his face. So they did a great job on that. McFarlane Toys did great on that. And you see where his eyes are. It looks really good through the holes. It looks like he's looking through a helmet. So I like that part of the figure there. And over here by his nose, all the artwork on the front of the mask looks great. On the top, everything looks good. And there goes his beard there. He's got that, that shadow. Looks pretty good. Not bad. And his head movement, pretty good on the head movement. There is no limitations on the head movement. You can do anything with the head, which I think was pretty good. I like that. So the wings here, let me go ahead and take this off. Set them down so you can look at the wings up close. See the wings there? They look great. Great coloring. Great job on the wings. I was always wondering when this figure was going to be made, how they were going to do the wings. And I think they did very a very good job on it, especially being able to disconnect it from the figure because that's a big deal for it not to break off or whatnot. So it goes in the holes right here, which they fit in snug. Now, mind you, when you fit them in, they fit in position. So when you move them up and down with them in that position, it does come loose and it will fall out. So moving them up and down is not too great but it still looks good for posing reasons because that's all you're gonna do anyway, is pose the figure. Now, what I don't like is that how it hits the helmet there. I don't like that on the figure. They should have had the wings come out a little more further so it would not hit that. But on both sides, it's the same. There he goes, looking on the back there, looking good, looking good. Wingspan, like I said, I like it a lot. A lot of detail on it, not bad. Not bad for the figure and not bad for the cost of the figure. So let's go ahead and check out this figure without the wings. We're gonna look at some of the padding here on the shoulder. It's real loose. That's for articulation purposes, I'm pretty sure, because the fact that you're able to lift his arms up a little higher than normal, because if that was positioned in hard way and not soft, then you'd probably be real limited on his arm movements. Here on the on the on the belt there, on the I don't know what you call that, whatever that is right here, that is sculpted on. And some that part is loose, but right here it's sculpted. That's not moving, but some of it's loose, which is pretty cool. The belt there uh, on this uh, his armor here by the belt, the armor has little cracks in it, which I thought was pretty neat. Little addition there. It's all hard plastic. A little bit of damage there on the back. You got some sculpted stuff here. Good paint. Not bad. Not bad. Like I said, that is sculpted on there, and then you have some loose area. His belt is not loose. That is uh, painted on. Good. Good job on the paint. And then for the arm articulation right here, it's gonna be your normal ball joint movements in the shoulder. Nothing too crazy there. You got your latch. As you can see, there's your latch. Up and down motions, ball joint. And then your arm has the latch right by the forearm and the bicep. In and out, nothing too crazy. And that's gonna be the same on both sides. Got your latch there. You got your movement, you got your ball joint movements. 
And of course you got your bicep swivel. Gotta have that bicep swivel, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see how he crunches. He crunches fairly good, nothing too crazy. It's more of a rotation in his legs more than a crunch. But it's still, still decent. The pant work here with the coloring, that's all colored on to the legs. And then you have that gold striping down the pants, on the knee, on the uh, knee pads, and to the all the way down to the legs to the boots, which is pretty good. The paintwork is not bad. You got your latch there in the leg, just normal stuff on the leg. You got the little rotation, and you got your latch, nothing too crazy. And you got your hinge for the uh, knee and the calf, and right there it bends. There you go, nothing crazy there either. And then you got your pivot in the foot, rotate it around. And we also got what do we got? We got that tiptoe. You know how I love that tiptoe. Like I said, the paint is good down the bottom here. Not bad. It's not bad. The figure looks great. Let's go ahead and stick these bad boys back in. All right. That's one. There's two. So let me know something in the comments. What do you think about this character? Leave me something in the comments. Do you like him? Do you dislike him? Did Tom McFarlane do a good job? Let me know. And here's the box. The box came in great condition because the company that I got it from, they always send it in great condition. That's what they do, and I love them. There's the box there on the side, DC Multiverse, Hawkman. On the side here, you got Black Adam, Hawkman, Black Adam. On the box there in the front, you got it on the top, Black Adam. It's all McFarlane stuff. And they always had that good artwork on the back. Nicely done. Great box. Great box. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this figure a 4 out of 5 stars for the fact that, appearance-wise, fantastic i i do like it and the articulation is not bad and i got this of course where i got it at big bad toy store for 19.99 plus tax and it was well worth it and this brings us to the end of our video if you found the video informational or you just enjoyed watching please like comment share and subscribe and as always this has been another toy review thanks for watching see you in the next one